Hi, so today I'll be programming in Packet Tracer for IoT. In the bottom left, I'm going to go to Components, Boards. I'm going to grab a single board computer. Under Sensors, I'll get a Motion Sensor. Under End Devices, I'll get a Home. And I'll grab a Light and a Siren. Now we're going to have to connect these devices. So I'll use an IoT Custom Cable. And I'll connect the motion sensor to slot 0, the siren to slot 1, and the light to slot 2. Now the goal here is to make it so that when the motion sensor goes off, the light and the siren both also go off. So I'm going to go to the programming tab. I'm going to create a new program. We'll name it Intruder Alert. It's going to be an empty visual. And this is very good for people who are new to programming because it shows you templates that tell you what everything does. So I'll go to variables. We're going to make a variable and we're going to name it Alert. We're going to go to math and we're going to set alert to zero. Now we're going to create a function. The star in the function symbolizes a single board computer is going to do something. So we'll name this intruder detection. Now once you name a function, it appears over here under the functions tab. Now we need our function to read our pin slots. So I'm going to grab pin mode slot and I'm going to copy this and we're going to make a couple more of them because we have three devices so we need three. Slot zero as you remember is our sensor. We need that to be an input because we need to receive information from it. Slot 1 will be an output because we need to send information to our siren. Slot 2 will also be an output because we need to send information to our light. Now we don't want this function to only read the devices and send information to the devices one time, so we're going to make a loop. And we're going to do repeat while. Now we need a logic, repeat while true, and now we're going to need another function. We'll name this function sensor and And we're going to have our variable again set alert to read a digital read slot zero, which is again our sensor. And now we don't just want our variable to be reading the uh, slot zero. We also want to see what input we get from the device. So we're going to go to text, print. So now we need to print variable alert. So now it won't just read the device, but we, it'll also print what it reads down here under our bottom box. So now I'll grab the function sensor input and I'll stick it into our loop. Now we don't want it to read too often, so we're going to put a delay under pin access. We have a delay feature. 
delay milliseconds 1000 and now let's go ahead and try out our program so we see we have zero coming in as our input and I'm just going to hold down alt and go over the sensor and now we get an input of 1023 because it's detecting motion and then once it stops detecting motion it starts reading zero again so I'll stop the program and we're going to need another function now this function is going to be our output to the other devices so we're going to name it output alarm and we're going to need some logic for this so if something happens do something or else do something else so I'm going to get another logic If blank equals blank, do this. If not, do this. So we'll have our variable alert equal our sensor's output, which is 1023, as we just found out. So if alert equals 1023 we're going to custom write and we'll need four of these since we have two devices and two outcomes so our first device will be slot one which is going to be our siren our second device is going to be slot 2, which is going to be our light. And we want to repeat this. And we're going to need some more of these boxes for our other blank spots here. Okay. So now we need to take a look at our devices. Now we can see in our siren, under data specifications, if we send it a zero, it'll be off. And if we send it a one, it'll be turned on. Now for our light, under data specifications again, we see if we send it a zero, it'll be turned off. If we send it a one, it'll be dim. And if we send the two, it'll be turned on. So I'm going to come back here and we're going to put in a value of one for our uh, siren. And we want our second device, our light, to equal two. That way it'll turn on also. Now, if it doesn't equal 1023, if we're getting zeros, then we want a zero. And that'll turn those devices off. Now I'm going to go to two functions, and I'm going to grab our output alarm, and I'm going to stick that in our loop also. So now let's try out our new program. So it's reading zero. I'm gonna hold down all of them and go over the motion sensor. And we see it's reading 1023, and now our siren and our light have both turned on. And that is the conclusion of the program tutorial.